let's check out the test for copper 2 plus ions with ammonia and with sodium hydroxide. We're going to look at the experiment first today and then we're going to look at the equations that cause those reactions to happen. So I've got two samples of copper 2 plus ions. The first one I'm going to test with sodium hydroxide solution. So let's watch what happens here. So copper 2 plus with sodium hydroxide, you get this, you see, a light blue precipitate, which just means a solid, is being formed. Now if I add the sodium hydroxide in excess, which means loads of it, what you can see is you just make more of it. So that means the precipitate is insoluble in excess. So copper two plus sodium hydroxide uh, gives a light blue precipitate. Right, so with the other sample, we're gonna test this one with some ammonia. So let's have a look at what happens here. So if I add a little bit of ammonia, you can see you're still getting that light blue precipitate, but Watch what happens as I add more and more ammonia. Hopefully, what you should be seeing is you should be seeing that it's forming a dark blue solution. So whilst you get that light blue precipitate originally, the more that you add, if you add the ammonia in excess, it turns into this dark blue solution. So let's look at the equations to work out why that happens. Copper 2 plus ions in the sodium hydroxide are really reacting with the hydroxide ions and they make the light blue precipitate of copper hydroxide which has the formula CuOH2 and we balance it like this. Remember that precipitate is insoluble in excess, it won't go anywhere no matter how much of the sodium hydroxide I add. Now the ammonia was a little bit different. But actually, every time you think of ammonia, when ammonia dissolves in water, it makes NH4 plus and OH minus. So what that means, it means the OH minus is still the thing reacting with the copper. So you still have the same reaction going on to give you that light blue precipitate. Now with the ammonia, we did see that it made that dark blue solution when I added a lot of it. And that happens due to something called ligand exchange, which is definitely not in the GCSE. Um, and you don't need to worry about the reasons behind. But if you're looking to confirm that it's definitely copper, then this is something that only copper does. Okay, so that's your test for copper 2 plus ions. Find the test for the other cations in this same folder linked to the same syllabus point.